We are in western Nebraska going out pheasant hunting. We're gonna get in some birds. I'm excited. We are in western Nebraska going out pheasant hunting. Um, this is the same exact area that we pheasant hunted when we did the Upland Slam a couple years ago back and got into a ton of roosters. This year the hatch wasn't quite as good as it was a couple years ago. So we're gonna have to cover some ground to get into them, but 100% wild birds here in the plains. It's gonna be awesome. The dogs are pumped up and ready to go after a couple days of travel to get here. We're gonna get in some birds. I'm excited. Dad, we're gonna go and hit that back grass clump across the field first. They'll give the chance of, for the dogs to work and lose some energy as we go. And there's a chance for Sharpies in the open here. Okay. And then we're gonna swing over, right over on the backside here and hit that over there, which is the best shot for pheasants on here before we bounce to the next field. Around the abandoned farm yep. buildings. Yep. Okay. All right, let's roll. Nope. Walk it towards you, just get over here and post on it. I, I, on my end, yeah. Yep. Okay. There's a pheasant, it's gonna be in here. 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 Should have been there. I think we just catch this little gully on the way back and then go hit that stuff by the house. Okay. Uh, you grab Tiny and walk on that side. Okay, Tiny, come here. Finishing up the first spot here. I need to say we got our exercise in, but no birds. It's a tricky part of hunting wild birds, especially when it doesn't have a big hatch. You gotta cover some territory until you get into the pocket. We've got a couple other spots around in the 30, 30 mile area. We're gonna bounce and try to hit one of those. Thought we'd get into them around that grass next to the old house. That's usually where they like to kind of stay, especially when there's a cut egg field like this next to it, but nothing here. So we'll load up, bounce to the next spot. There were a few birds in here last time, about 400 of them. Yeah. All right there. After a quick lunch, gonna start the afternoon here. This is where we got into a bunch of birds a couple years ago, so expecting good things here right off the bat. Arrow's already birdie and we just started. So you're gonna stay on the outside. Okay. I'm gonna swing your way with it. A double point right here. Gorgeous Nebraska rooster right here. 
Look at the spurs on that sucker. Dad, if you wanted to, you can come on this side of those pine trees. Rabbit, rabbit, hey, hey, no. Happened quick. That one's all good, center patterned. Tell the difference in age and you're younger based on the spurs. So what do you think? How do we do it? Well, we got to hit that tree line and we got to hit this tree line. Okay. We did the outside of that one and the outside of this one. Bird number three for the limit, in Nebraska. Slow morning, but an action-packed afternoon right there. And that's awesome. The dog's been working great, too. Stay over there then, Dad. Okay. Doesn't matter, now they're all gonna come in front of me because I got the limit. See, there goes a rooster, right there. Here, here, here. And here. Here, over here. Here. Come on. Come on. Tiny, here. Come here. Come on. Yeah. I'm going to get him over by me so I can see him. Here, here. Come on. Good boy. Hunt him up. Hunt him up. Awesome day in Nebraska yet again. Two years ago, we were here for the uh, Upland Slam, the journey within. Same field produced again today with the limit of pheasants right in the afternoon after a pretty slow morning, but that's how pheasant hunting works. Sometimes you get in a hot field and it just goes like this. So we're gonna head back out again tomorrow, try a couple different fields, maybe a couple of big grass fields, which will be different and get the pointers out there, see if we can't track one down. But well, we just got everything loaded up. Second morning here in Nebraska, we're gonna try a different spot to start. And then I think we're gonna head back to where we got into the birds yesterday for our second spot today. And Ryan Watchhorn, who's the CEO of WTA, is gonna be out there. They were actually hunting his family's property out here and gonna get his son out with us this afternoon, which would be pretty cool. Um, then after that, we're gonna hit the road. A couple days of action-packed pheasants here in Nebraska. Excited to get going this morning. for the day it's a big draw behind us with trees on it and we're hunting Ryan's family's property here and they've done a lot for conservation over the years because they keep habitats just like this now you could have farmed almost all of this and they decided to keep it for habitat for pheasants now, you can definitely tell that there was a bad hatch this year because there's not as many birds but areas like this are key for keeping birds especially in bad hatch years alive all the way throughout the year That's cool. Could have sharpies here.
Ten. Arrow, shoot her. Good boys. Good boys. Good boys. I'm gonna get him back. Get back over there. Good boys. Come on. Honey hole. This is where we were yesterday and all the birds were, so it seems like the logical spot to go to. You shot a pheasant before, right? No. Oh, all right. We've been, we've tried about seven, seven, eight thousand times. Seven, eight thousand times. I think it's that much at least. So we're gonna go get dropped off on the corner and we'll start we'll start there. I'm just gonna use one dog from that corner section and we'll just walk it right here and dad will meet us. I'll grab the second dog here and we'll continue on. We, that's the one spot we literally didn't step foot in there yesterday. Okay. Does that work? Perfect. Let's dance. Can you get your first pheasant today? Yeah. Hope so. Ready? Yep. Boy shooter. The other close ones were a hen. Well, pretty close to the same spot yesterday. We got into the birds, got into another one. We're gonna keep this going. I think there's a few more tucked down this fence row. Perfect shooter was pointing this guy for the last 75 yards and he ran out of real estate and decided to fly right back at us. Yeah! <laughs> Here, get it on safe. Get that gun on safe. Alright. Arrow got it. <laughs> Good job. Grandpa Hogan. One shot? Oh, well, that ain't too bad. Good for you. Third one of the day. We're gonna keep pushing this. There are a bunch of birds up ahead. 